recently I did a video and I mentioned uh, one of the key components to our universe is constant change, and that is uh, second law of thermodynamics, um, things moving from low entropy to high entropy. Low entropy is st stuck or stayed or structured. High entropy is high disorder and change, and everything moves from order to disorder. I've been thinking about that in the context of leaders and organizations. Uh, organizations that are low entropy spend all their energy trying to remain the same, keep the same. Uh, and in a constantly changing world, that will eventually be a recipe for disaster. It also doesn't work. I do have uh, clients and run into organizations where it's high entropy. It is almost chaos trying to deal with everything that's going on um, and there's no sense of order. The key is getting to medium entropy. So having the right order, but also the right flexibility or potential disorder to be able to address the changes going forward. So what, what is that? What is that medium entropy? It's about knowing what not to change. What's the foundation? So that's values, that's ethics, that's character. Those things don't change. And those things should be the foundation of anything you do. If your character and values are shifting all over the place, um, you're not able to address things the way you need to, and you don't have the order or the stability to address them well. What does need to change is our assumptions, our mindset, uh, how we address things, what we see, understanding our blind spots. Those things need to change on a regular basis, as fast or faster than the world is changing around you but on the foundation of the things that don't change. So that medium entropy, so how do you create that? There are really two things uh, that I've, I've thought about recently. One is really clear, it's data. So actually going to data, not looking for data that confirms your point of view, not joining a group that confirms your point of view, but looking at data and looking at what does it tell you that you're where, where you're wrong? What don't you know? What were your assumptions that aren't playing out? So actually looking at data, data objectively and looking for what does it tell me that I don't know? Where does it tell me I'm wrong? The second is diversity and inclusion. If you want a medium entropy organization, if you want to be medium entropy yourself, or you want a medium ent entropy team, a team that's able to adjust and adapt and pivot as needed, you need different views, different perspectives, different backgrounds. If your team is monochromatic and they all think like you, you will go to low entropy. You will not be agile enough. But being able to listen to and engage with a team that brings very different perspectives, shares values, shares character, shares integrity, but sees how we address this market, how we address the challenges differently, you can create that great balance of medium entropy.